So interceptors is one of the important concept you need to understand it. So if you want to learn more about this Axios means you can open this Axios and you can learn it. So here you can have it Axios. I have opened some other website I think. Yeah okay. So this is also okay NPM right. So this is Axios. So these are all so many options will be there. I am telling you the important things only. So we have seen these are all axios dot get catch finally finally means always it will be executed so you can write it in the finally also uh, get user account these are all things we have seen api axios. so this is the long format i'll leave it that, that is equal to get your long format so these are all the different types of things which you will be having so here you need to make it with a get delete head options post put patch so these are all the different types of request methods how you will try to make so here creating an instance i will try to tell you mm, headers so here he is uh, trying to append the headers and uh, what is that i want to tell you these are all the uh, options which we will try to keep it so these are so many options will be there config defaults i have told you about the base url headers.com and headers.post these things also I have told you all things leave it so this is the concept which i am trying to tell you interceptors <clears throat> so interceptors means you can intercept the requests or response before they are handled by then or catch so what is that one is for example when you are trying to send a request before sending the request you can catch that request and you can do some modifications you can do some modifications and you can send that request so that means instead of doing each places here instead of doing each places here so we can do some modifications how we can do it is for example so here in the main.js i didn't remember axios dot interceptors dot for the request i want to make it request dot use so this one will have a function so here you will be getting a config so this config this is a anonymous function so we need to return the config so th that's it so this is this is how we'll be doing so we need to bust and should we need to return the config now we can change the configuration so let's try to console.log of config you'll see what are the options available in this config so now whenever we are trying to make a request so here you will be able to see in the console this one so this is the configuration so here i can change the url which i want to make it and here the data is nothing is there right i can write the data so for example here if i want to send it uh, i can send the data actually that one is a get request so if you want to we'll try to see what will happen config.data is equal to for the post we can send it that one hi so hi i will try to do it so i am trying to change the data here request so here if i try to see the output so now Okay, I am not consoling this one or what. So let's try to make this one post.json headers thing. So here we are not able to get it. So here we'll try to post the data. Okay. Post it. So we have posted the data. Let's see what is the payload it is trying to send it. See the payload, what it is trying to send it. So I have written some other data. It is trying to send hi hi. So now if you try to see in the database, it will save the same thing only. So that means in between this one i have configured this one so whenever it is trying to make a request so we can change the data change not only the data the configurations the headers also i can change it so here i can use the headers so i can use something like so leela so i can add some other thing is equal to leela already we have some leela thing right so let's see something okay so i will try to add it like this so i can add this one so now here if i go into this one let's see for the get request maybe i used to get this one so here see you will be able to see this one so i can add it through the interceptors also so that means whenever you are making a request you can modify the configuration so axios configuration like this we can modify the request not only this one so we can also use it for the response so whenever you get a response from the server so you can intercept it intercept means you can bypass it so here you can use it response dot use here you will get the response so i can do the console dot log response but make sure that to return the response or otherwise it will not receive it 
so you need to return the response so now here if you want to do modification you can do the modification for example let's say that we got the data right here so this is the response so this is the data which we got it through the get request now what i will try to do here so i will try to change this data so what i can do is so here i will say in a such a way that um, response dot data is equal to so here i will try to add uh, unique key leela and here i will be having title so only leela and also the description so some font description so i am setting only one data so i am modifying the data now if you try to see the output see i am able to get i am able to see only the data so what is the data so i have modified the response here so before sending it to this post data here post.json before sending this response so we can modify it here whatever the thing you want to modify it or otherwise you can format it here also instead of formatting it here format post data you can format the post data and you can send it so i am trying to explain you that one so you can modify it or you can format it and you can return the response so that this post data will receive that response and it will do it so here i am whatever the data it is coming from the server i have modified i am telling my own data i am trying to sending my own data so this is how it will this is how it will be actually so these are called as an interceptors so interceptors is nothing but we can we can bypass the request and response before they are handled so before they are handled so that is the main thing so here they have used it so anything we can use it so this is all about the axios so i don't want to confuse you more about these all things i don't want to tell more about this one so you can learn one by one everything so these are all more about the axios thing so these are the things we have learned it so this is all about the axios thing so main concept you need to understand is the defaults thing how we can assign the defaults what is an interceptors these things you need to understand this and also how to make a request thing these are the main things